In this video, I'm going to share with you my first impressions on the Henson TI-22 Titanium Safety Razor. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John. And for today's shave, we're continuing that razor journey. Uh, there's a lot of razors that have come into my den, both for my own purchases, as well as friends of the channel letting me borrow uh, their hardware. So for today's shave, I'm using for the first time the Henson TI-22 Titanium Razor, and I have a friend of the channel, Marion the Barbarian, to thank for loaning me this razor. So a big thank you to Marion. Please be sure to check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check that out after you're done with this video. So Henson Shaving, a Canadian razor maker, is fairly new to the wet shaving scene. I've tried their aluminum razor in the past, uh, both in the mild and the medium plate. Uh, it's a very light razor. In general, I actually don't love aluminum. So when Marion mentioned that he had the titanium version of uh, the Henson razor, I was quite curious and I will be curious to see how it stacks up. My main issues uh, as far as why the aluminum version wasn't for me, uh, besides the too light of a weight uh, and even the medium base plate was uh, way too mild for my taste. Before we get further into the shave, let me show you what else I'll be using today. First up for the software, we're going with Sterling Soap Company, Sandpiper. You can see this is the uh, old aftershave bottles they used to use. There's even a little sticker that says with menthol because uh, I think this is still the case where uh, you can choose with or without menthol in your splashes. But Sandpiper, probably one of my favorites from Sterling. This one's a cologne dupe of Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de L'Homme a awesome kind of cardamom forward, um, very nice, elegant kind of date night type scent. And for the brush today, which I've already loaded, I've gone with Wild West Brushworks Angler, and this has the 26 millimeter Sweet Spot Badger, which is in the fan shape. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. I'd also like to invite you all to come check out the new Lather Talk Discord server. It's a great place to chat and hang out with your fellow wet shaving enthusiasts. Alright, so I'm lathered up and ready to go. I'm working with three days worth of beard growth, just a little close up. You can see some of the whiskers poking through. And here we go in. I forgot to mention the blade that I've loaded up is the Gillette 7 O'Clock Super Platinum. That's the one uh, I believe made in India in the black packaging. So let's see how the TI-22 goes. So I definitely have to mention the price tag on the Henson TI-22. It being a titanium razor, it costs about $250 USD. And I know that price point is not for everyone. So no, no worries about that. That Henson, the, their main razor, the aluminum one, you know, I totally forgot to check what the pricing on that was. I want to say it's around $50 USD. And given the amount of different um, base plate availability and even different colors, uh, that's a that's a pretty good price point, I think, to give them a try. The titanium version weighs in at 2.26 ounces. And that's fully assembled. I have to say, this is actually... Uh, I think this is doing a better job as far as efficiency than either either of the previous ones I tried. All right, so the first pass is down. I did find it more efficient than my previous outings with the Henson razors, so maybe that's the uh, additional weight provided by titanium. It is still a very light razor. One thing I did want to mention though is the very unique pattern and design on the handle itself, you'll see a lot of these lines going across. That is 
it's more or less how they're achieving the knurling, uh, the grippiness of the razor, which definitely works. That being said, I think I, I just prefer the feel uh, in my in hand of traditional knurling. Just a small thing to note, but it is, it is a unique, unique handle design, and that's in both titanium and aluminum versions. So, um, if you like, if you dig the look of it, I know I think some people really like this. But let's go in for that second pass. Second pass, really comfortable. Again, I think I am very, uh, very surprised how different the efficiency is. One thing though that I forgot to check beforehand from Marion is which base plate I'm using. So <laughs> uh, I'll put a little note right here. Uh, I'll ask Marion after the shave uh, and in post production, uh, I can identify which base plate I'm using. Again, I used the mild and medium before. Found both to be just way too, uh, way too low on efficiency. I feel like I'd have to, you know, buff buff a lot and uh, go over the same spots a bunch of times. That is not the case here. I think this is mowing down very easily. Um, you know, three three days worth of growth. So I'm actually quite impressed by that. It feels good in hand, and we're gonna go for one last pass. And it, so far, the shape's going really well. All right, so let's finish up things with the matching aftershave splash for Sandpiper here. Now, as far as clone dupes go, multiple artisans now make uh, a clone of this this set right here, La Nuit de Lome. Whatever version, I mean, Sterling, it's just hard to beat as far as price point goes. And I think that this scent is just great for wet shavers, young and old new or veteran just a really really solid enjoyable scent all right so just to recap things a bit uh, this was my first time with the henson titanium the ti-22 and it just provided a really easy smooth comfortable shave uh, efficiency was better than the aluminum versions that i used uh, prior and that's great because efficiency or rather lack thereof was probably my main hang up um, and then that uh, the kind of super lightweightness of aluminum. Uh, I've used, I think, the car of aluminum, and I used to have the Razorock Lupo uh, aluminum version. And those were, you know, while they shaved great, I just, uh, I felt they were too light in hand. They just may fly out of my heads um, if I wasn't paying enough attention. I mean, ultimately, Titanium razors are a premium product. They are aimed more for the, you know, enthusiasts, hardcore fans or just people who have the means to purchase them. That being said, I am becoming a big fan of titanium razors. I'm definitely an enthusiast uh, having, you know, this channel and, and such, but uh, I, I that, that, that weight that the material gives the razor, it just hits a sweet spot for me. So far the, out of the titanium razors I have used, they feel good in hand substantially enough yet. Uh, are lightweight enough to be very nimble and agile. I don't know, it's, it just makes for a really killer combo. All that has to say, I really enjoyed my shave today and we'll be putting this razor more to the test. Thank you so much again to Mary and the Barbarian for loading me this razor. And thanks to you guys for stopping by today for joining me for today's shave. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.